How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic Labor Day and you had a great Labor Day weekend. I appreciate all of you that are working on Labor Day. Like, I appreciate you. That's a, that's a big thing to do. One little project that I worked on uh, on this fine Labor Day was I carved a spork for camping and I'm I'm pretty excited about it. Turned out turned out pretty decently. So that was kind of my little project. Plus we're you know we kinda of got up out of bed a little later but we hit it hard. I made us some nice breakfast today, some avocado toast with some turkey bacon and then we went to the laundromat, did like a month's worth of laundry. So it's been productive so far. And now I'm making this video carbon sporks what the heck so before we get into this i just want to say i appreciate y'all for clicking on the video and watching it uh really helps me out a lot and you know best things you can do comment you know it can be social on this media and like like the video share it with a friend that that would be fantastic you do all of that stuff and it helps me out. More people get seeing the video. The closer we get by more people subscribing, once we hit that 100, we can give away like a lure that I've made. That's, that's insane. Come on, let's do it. So getting into this video, this was, I got inspiration for this video when I was working on Friday because I was going around, I was working, and I seen this house had some rotten reels, like, by the trash can, so I was like, well, I'm not just gonna, you know, dumpster dive and just take them, so I went ahead and I, I knocked on the door, talked with the lady, she was super nice, and she's like, yeah, go for it, like, if you want to check them out, do it, so I, uh, I have three dumpster dive, uh, fishing reels, that I have, um, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Apparently other people's trash is my treasure. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the first reel. I've had this for, oh, I'd say three years because when I got this reel, uh, I'll go into the reel first before I go into the story. You seen this reel last week. Uh, so this is a Shimano Solstice. This is a 2500 uh, FI, whatever the heck that means. But it's a Shimano. And, and it was literally somebody threw it in the trash. So how I got my hands on this reel is um, the summer after my freshman year of college, my... Girlfriend and I were living a little ways apart, so we'd meet in the middle, and we went to went to this one place where you could rent like the little pedal boats and whatever, which honestly suck. I don't recommend doing that. There, there, it's more effort than what it's worth. Plus, like this little pond out is like way weeded down. But anyway, that's that's besides the point. You know, we're rambling. But anyway, so I seen in the trash can on this. Like, besides this dock, there's a rod sticking out of the trash can, and it's broken. So I was like, all right, like, let's go over there. I just want to check it out real quick. And there was this reel still attached to the flipping rod. And granted, it did not look like this. It had, like, like paint splatter on it, and it was, like really grubby and I was like oh is this even like worth like taking with me but I'm so glad I did I took it I took it back home after our date day and stripped it down I took some nail polish remover and I got all of the pl the paint splatter off so that it looked really good and went ahead took everything apart oiled it greased all the gears up and everything and this is such a smooth reel. And this reel is only $35. But you know what? You know what? I got this for free. Because it was so put it in the frippin' trash can. What the heck? Why do people do this? 
like I and by no means am I like a dumpster diver. I don't I don't want to have that misconception. But if I see something and I like kind of know the value of it, and if I can like fix it, I'm definitely gonna do it because that saves me money and I get new gear. So these next two reels, which inspired the video, because you know now I have a set of three dumpster dive reels. So the, the one that first caught my eye was um, this Shimano uh, 250 bait runner. So it's also 250, 2500 size reel. But this is, this reel, so like the new ones now, they run from anywhere from like, like kind of the more basic models of the bait runners. They run like... Uh, about $130 to about $200, about like that 170 mark. Uh, from what I could tell from eBay, which is not a reliable like uh, source for pricing things because it's all over the place, um, probably about the median kind of average mean price of, of this is like $50. But still, this is, keep in mind, this is a free reel and... Uh, this lady was just gonna throw it out. I don't really think she knew what she had But when I see it, I was like, oh, it's so cool because it's, it's like, oh, this is a Shimano and everything So one of the feet it has a lot of features to it with it being a bait runner So let's start from the front. We'll work our way to the back So you got the drag Pretty self-explanatory, but then you also got Shimano's quick fire system. So instead of flipping the bail out every time if you wanted to, they have this little switch where you just pull it and it flips open. Whoa! Uh, I also like this kind of style of handles um, where they're more oversized. You can get a good grip on them. I kind of like, I don't know, I just, I like, I like a lot of handle. I like oversized handles. That's kind of why I lean more towards like... Uh, lose reels because they have the paddle handles and I really appreciate those. Anti-reverse, so you can reel backwards, forwards. But the cool thing about this whole thing is the bait runner. So what a bait runner is, you have this switch and you flip it down and you set the tension and this is basically the spool tension. So if you can hear that, Basically, that free lines the spool. So you have your bait out there. You just have it setting. Something takes the bait and it starts running with it. And all you have to do, because that, that fish, that are, it already has the bait. It's in its mouth. All you have to do is reel down and it pops, pops up. That engages the spool. You are on to a fish. And... Like, outside of this reel wasn't too bad. Uh, obviously, they used it for saltwater fishing. There is a little corrosion on the handle that I was able to uh, fix up by soaking it in vinegar for probably about 30 minutes. And then um, the bail also had a little bit, like, right here. So I was able to soak that in vinegar for about half an hour and cleared it right up. Broke it down, oiled the shit out of everything and greased up the gears and this is a pretty smooth reel now like it was like it wasn't bad before but whew, it's smooth now and this is older like this is an older model of it like I can't even begin to guess like what year this is but just something cool and since it's a free reel I'm gonna take good care of this but what I what I envision me using this for is saltwater fishing because I don't want to I don't I really don't want to invest into a saltwater combo if I can just buy like I'm gonna just buy like an ugly stick rod because I, I don't want to invest too much in saltwater fishing at this point just kind of getting into it but free reel to go with salt, saltwater fishing um at like after each time we go I just have to run some some fresh water over it just make sure we're not getting any salt or sand in here so you just gotta you just gotta rinse it off real good 
afterwards. Um, so this next reel. This is real I'm excited about, but this is the reel that needs the most TLC. But it also caught my eye. So this big chungus is a Pen 704Z. This is like their workhorse reel from the research that I've done. And um, from just looking around, eBay about $75, $80. The new models go for two hundred dollars, but this is like this is like the um, working man's surf fishing reel. But as you can see, it needs a, a heckin' lot of work. Like the, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I cracked it open just to see what we were working with. Super super simple design in here. Um, way more so than like these, um, but less parts, less things that can malfunction. Super simple, but the reel is seized up um, because they did not take care of this, uh, the previous owners, um, when they had it. So I have this fantastic idea of doing a series about this reel and cracking it open, going through it, and fixing it up so it can run. So we can use this for surf fishing, get a big 10, 12 foot rod. We are be in the money for that. Honestly, the, the screw and the spring for this, $2 each. So since this is a free reel, I don't feel bad about going on to uh, certain dealer's websites because Penn has like these trusted dealers where they uh where you can order parts through so i don't feel bad about ordering four dollars you know up to probably about maybe twenty dollars worth of parts to get this thing running and then i have a whole plan of making a video series about it the first one will probably be cracking it open getting it cleaned out seeing uh seeing and writing down like what we need to do to make this thing work and then um i have some great ideas for the finishing of it, but oh, I, got, I got so inspired by it that I just want to make these videos and I want to make them now, but I can't at the moment. I need to refrain myself, but I am super flipping jacked for this reel. I'm jacked for this reel. I've already had this reel, but I'm, so, I'm still jacked about it because it's free, but I'm super excited for this. This is going to be my saltwater reel. And we're gonna slap. We're gonna slay some saltwater species with it. Oh my god. And this this Wednesday, I am getting my driver's license, then my fishing license. And the next video next week, we're gonna be fishing. We're gonna be fishing! Son of a B word. I'm so excited. Anyway, I have one more thing that I wanted to talk about. So last night, my girlfriend and I, we were, we were talking about things, and she had this good idea that I'm going to piggyback off of. So I'm not a big channel, but a lot of my friends and family support me and making a lot of new friends along the way. So I was just thinking, if y'all wanted some like buyer lurico, like a like a button down shirt or it's like a plain t-shirt or whatever, hit me up on Instagram or if you have my number or if you're on Facebook or whatever, let me know because we have this great idea. I'm not gonna say we, this was all her idea and I'm kind of stealing it. Um, like a lot of men do uh, with women's ideas. Um, she tells me that all the time. But anyway, so this idea that she had is having merch that is thrifted because that's more sustainable. That's something that's, um, that is something that's important to us. Uh, thus, um, going through people's trash, and <laughs> getting fishing gear. Um, if you, uh, disclaimer, if you do that, please ask for permission first, um, and just be careful. 
But if you guys want merch, what, what we do is we go online, we order like, like a button down shirt like this. I would go, I would thrift and source the shirt out because that's more sustainable. From online, we would order patches that we can iron or so on. And we could put it on the shirt. It'll be like Buyer Lure Co. And then, uh, you know, so you guys could support me and you guys got some, like, cool stuff. And it's not going to be, you know, we had, we'd have to price it out. But, you know, it would be pretty affordable for a lot of people rather than, you know, buying new shirts and stuff. That's not really a sustainable uh, thing, especially with fast fashion. But I digress. So... With that, if y'all are interested in that, let me know. Hit me up, uh, cause that'd be pretty cool. Or we could get, you know, like plain T-shirts, and I can get an iron-on vinyl, like little vinyl logo that I could put like on the chest or something. Like that'd be pretty cool. I'll probably, I, I want to, like as time goes on, and hopefully, if this channel and uh, everything gets continues to grow, hopefully knock on wood like I would love to do that more but if y'all are interested right now I could already kind of get a start on that like get things worked out a lot but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video uh let me know if you do want to see a series about like repairing this getting it all good to go that's something that I really enjoy doing is uh fixing reels maintaining them going through them. It's really interesting for me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all had a fantastic Labor Day. Until next week, where will we be?